guys, it's finally May on the blog and the start of a new month always means that a new bless box has arrived. So for this post I decided to do a video unboxing instead of just taking photos so you can kind of see all the products with me. So let's get started. Oh my gosh, pop tarts. I'm just kidding, there's not really pop tarts in there. But Cezanne girl, if you want to hook me up with a box of pop tarts, I wouldn't be mad. Okay, so let's for real open it this time. Okay, so the special handy dandy card that comes in all the bless boxes kind of details everything that's in here. I usually give this a read through when I'm done because I'm way too excited. All right, so first there's a red envelope. Let's see what's inside. We have some spring postcards. These are so cute. As I've mentioned on the blog before, I'm kind of obsessed with stationery and paper in general. So anything cute like this really is like, oh. oh, these are so cute. Bless box stickers. These are like perfect for putting on your laptop or something. Oh my gosh, look, it's a tiny bless box. It looks like there's some different coupons in here, probably for products that are inside. Here's a note. Wow! I'm so excited to be including this exclusive complimentary 20 minute facial from Avita. Hello! I've actually never had a facial before so this is going to be a first for me. I'm excited. Alright, let's see. We have, ooh, a Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. This is pretty cool. I've seen this at Target. You can fill in the brows, brush them out. That's really nice because I got a little bit of the gap going, don't we all? Some more Maybelline goodies. This is Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Eye Pencil. I'm always going for the waterproof because I smudge so easily, so this will be perfect. We have a, another one of these. I actually think we got this in the first Bless Box, the Dark Chocolate Almond Bar. I tried to give mine a shot one time, but I think I waited too long to eat it, and it got really, really hard, so I should probably eat this one right away. Okay, here we have... Differin Gel Acne Treatment. It says that it's dermatolog dermatologist developed and it was actually previously available only by prescription, so that's pretty nice. It does say do not use on damaged or dry skin with eczema, so probably wouldn't be able to use this. This is really awesome though because I feel like when the weather starts changing, I'm battling like constant pimples or breakouts because your face is just like, what the heck's going on? I was just so dry and I'm greasy again or however your skin works. I just know that this time of year isn't the best for acne. So this is actually really nice. This is a good perk. We have Go Smile Teeth Whitening Gel. A week of whitening. On a dry brush, put equal amounts of fluoride, toothpaste, and teeth whitening gel. Brush for two minutes. So you basically put this on your toothbrush with your toothpaste, and it's going to help whiten your teeth. That's awesome. I hate those crust white strips that you have to put on, and they like taste gross, and they fall off, and they're just a hot mess. I remember using those, and I haven't used them in a long time, and I need some teeth whitening help, so this is really awesome. If it works, I'll definitely be checking out this company. Ooh! Oh, yay! More ColourPop goodies. These are my favorite things so far that have come in the Bless Box. Didn't do ColourPop before. I never like heard of them really. And I've gotten quite a few products and I'm like loving, loving their stuff. Super Shock Eyeshadow. What color it is. This is in the shade Jinxie. It's like a sparkly gold. It's like a good neutral uh, with a little shimmer, you know, to add just to the crease. I think that will look really good. Now we have another ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. I think I talked about that in my last Bless Box opening on the blog. Not a big glossy person. I'm all about matte lip. This is in the shade Love Bug. It's kind of like a pinkish, orangey coral kind of. I think it'll be good for the summer because I like to go for like an orangey corally kind of thing. This will be fun to try. Now we have DP Hue. Oh, Argon Oil Therapy for all hair types. Use on damp or dry hair and style as usual. I have naturally oily hair that I have to wash every day so I don't know if a product like this would necessarily be great for me but willing to try it. Here we have Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. It's 
spritz onto a fresh clean face and follow with Kopari Coconut Face Cream. Perfect to set makeup for a quick pick-me-up or after a long dehydrating light. I've actually been interested in kind of finding something that's good for setting makeup and so now I can try this out and see if it really works. Keeps my makeup in place without me looking like a hot mess all day long. So next we have a lip balm. Portland Bee Balm. Supporting urban bees and their keepers. It says it's all natural and it's handmade with love in southeast Portland. I love lip balm. Always carry lip balm on me everywhere I go. So this will be the new one headed to my purse. Alright, look at this bad boy. The Body Shop Passion Fruit Body Butter. This is like a huge container, like full size. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It smells like summer, like the beach. Or like a pina colada. I've never had one of those, but I'd imagine that's probably what it smells like. It's called Fruit de la Passion. That's what the smell is called, so that, that kind of makes sense. So it's a real thick texture, as you can see. It says hydration for dry skin with cold pressed passion fruit oil from Brazil. I could like smell this forever. Actually, honestly, I'll probably smell it more than I'll use it. And last, I think last but not least, we have hand food from Soap and Glory. First of all, this is like a really cute bottle. Non-greasy hydrating hand cream with shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. Yum, I could just eat this actually. Oh, that smells so good. It's like kind of florally, but I don't even know how to describe this smell. It's like florally, but just smells really, really good. And I can already feel how soft it's making my skin. It's a hand cream, so it's definitely thicker than a lotion when you're rubbing it on. But like I said, I can feel like an instant smoothness. And it's like the perfect size to just throw in your bag or your purse or, you know, use at work and your desk. Soap and Glory hand food. All right, that is all the contents in the Bless Box. I feel like April was a really good month for the Bless Box. Not that I'm ever disappointed, but I feel like there's a lot of really awesome products this time. Full-size products like this Body Shop Body Butter, and then the facial, that's so awesome. I can't wait to go out and use that. I think if I had to pick a favorite though, it's definitely this Soap and Glory hand food because it smells amazing. I already like the results and I've just used it here with you guys right now. Thanks so much for watching and opening the April Bless Box with me. If you get the Bless Box on your own, feel free to comment below and let me know which product was your favorite this time around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel or follow my blog and I'll be posting more videos, possibly more Bless Box openings and there's a lot of other fun things to come. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time.